Hi guys, it's Miss Tara from the Northwest Library and I'm here to share some of my favorite kids books for the month of September. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started right away. I've got this book here called Barnaby and this book is by Andrea Curtis and Cass Reich. And as you can see, this looks more like um, a pet bird and these might be wild birds and that tells us a little bit about what our story is about. So Barnaby is a bird that lives with an owner, they enjoy their days together. He flies around the place. He loves her to pieces. And uh, one day she thinks he needs a friend. So I'm sure some people got siblings that way and um, dogs got new friends. And Bird does not like his new sibling and once he sees a chance, he flies out the window. And he doesn't realize when he flies out the window there, he has a safe place. He knows what his food is, when and where his food is going to come from every day. Um, where his water is going to be, where his family is going to be. He does eventually find some birds that help him. They help him take a bath and find something to eat. This book is a little bit more text heavy, more sentences. So mom and dad can help with this or if you have... Um, a, a reader who's a little more advanced, they would be okay with this. Um, and then he learns more things from them. He eventually starts eating bugs and doesn't care for that. And he does find his home again, but you'll have to read it to find out if he decides to go back home or stay with his new friends. Again, this is the book Barnaby. This is a James Patterson Presents, um, but it was not written by James Patterson. Uh, he just likes to put his name on a lot of things. Um, this one is called If Kids Could Drive. I know some parents would say if kids could drive me crazy. Uh, what I like this about this book a lot is that the pages are very bright and colorful. There's not a ton of text. Uh, there's lots of fun things to look at. You can see the buildings are made out of crayons. All right. The synopsis of this is if kids ruled the roads, cars would, f cars would fly, streets would have roller coaster loop-de-loops, and parents would have to sit in the back. Every drive would be a wild ride. Okay, look at Hamburger Heaven and Very Cool Veggies. All right, Taco Time and Pizza Palace. And look at that noodle place there. That's so cool. So again, light on the text, great illustrations, lots to look at. If kids could drive. I think this one is kind of a silly one. This is called The Missing Pears by Yvonne Iverson, Ivinson, I'm sorry, and uh, Rabbit, Fox, and Badger um, all have lost some kind of uh, clothing item. I think this is lost mittens, lost sock, and lost shoes. I didn't know that animals lost that much clothes, but Fox is missing a sock, Hare is missing a mitten, and Badger is missing a boot. But what's the use of wearing socks, mittens, and boots if you don't wear a pair? Luckily, Fox, Hare, and Badger have a friend named Bear, and Bear knows just what to do. Bear will solve the mystery of the mystery of the missing pairs, or will he? So this is a fun mystery. Very little text, so if you have a new reader, they might be okay with this. Uh, just a couple of sentences. Most pages have one to two sentences. Great fun illustrations, um, lots of silly things happening, um, and it kind of has a silly ending, so you'll want to get this one and read it through with your kids to find out how it ends. Right. This one might be good for parents who um, their kids are getting ready for their first sleepover. That can be a little bit scary. Uh, this is called Darcy's First Sleepover, and it's by Julie Fortenberry. And so are the illustrations. 
and they call this a gently reassuring picture book about the milestone of a first sleepover. I can't remember my first sleepover, but I know that it was fun. Okay, so this is Darcy, and these are the things she does before she gets ready for bed at night. She gets in her comfy polka dot pajamas, and she brushes her teeth with strawberry toothpaste. So a little bit more text in this book, a little bit longer text. So maybe a little bit better reader or a parent who can help. When it storms, Darcy doesn't flip the light on. Um, and then she decides to have a sleepover with her friends. So she goes to her friend's house, Darcy does. And this is all about her first sleepover. She feels a little bit weird that she has to brush her teeth with peppermint toothpaste instead of strawberry like she does at home. Um, and her animals are at home. Um, so good, good book. Even if they're, you know, just getting ready to go over to grandma's or aunt or uncle, um, it's a good book to kind of get ready for that first sleepover. I really love this one. This is called The Thingity, Thingity Jig, written by Kathleen Doherty and illustrated by Christina Witten, okay? Uh, all of Bear's friends were deep asleep, but Bear wasn't sleepy. He wanted to play, so he wandered off to find some fun in People Town, where he made quite a curious discovery. So everybody's sleeping, and he decides to go where he's not supposed to, which is People Town, okay? Bear's not sleepy, but all of his friends are sleepy. And he noses around in the trash and finds a thingity jig. And he thinks that he wants to bring that thingity jig, which might also be a couch, and bring it back home. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, so uh, he wakes his friends up. And uh, you'll have to figure out and see, read, grab this book and bring it home and see uh, what the, they did with the thingity jig and if it, the forest was a good place for it. It's really cute. All right, so those are my picture books. I do have some fun nonfiction books to share with you. This one is called Through the Night Sky, a collection of amazing adventure under the stars. I was first attracted by the cover of this book. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it just has information about different animals and what they do at nighttime. So here we have a barn owl and at mealtime, what does a barn owl do? Um, let's see, dancing lights. So this talks a little bit about, um, chemicals and stuff that are used, um, by lightning bugs. And fungi make their own lights. And then there's, of course, the northern lights, which is gorgeous. Um, Happy New Year, fire dancing. There's not a ton of text in this one. Um, there is some, and it does kind of jump from, from page to page. It has more information, something different. All right, so this one, highly recommend. It's called Through the Night Sky. Uh... This one is fun and you can almost make a game out of it. It's called The Eyeball Alphabet Book. All right. All right, and it's gonna, it's an alphabet book. So A is for alligator, and there's the alligator eyeball. And it has some fun facts. Uh, a is for alligator, and alligator has eyes that stick up on the top of his head. It can look above the water while the rest of its head and body are hidden below the water. Keep your eye on the ball means to pay attention. So here's different animals through the book. You can go to, we often ask kids what their letter is. You know, what's the first letter of their first name? That's often their letter. Here's my letter with my animal. Not the tarantula, luckily. Um, so this one is a fun one to get, uh, called the uh, Eyeball Alphabet Book. And then my last book is called Constellations of the Deep. 
by Benjamin Flew. I don't think I'm pronouncing this right, but um, this is about Fox, and he wants you to join him on his under underwater quest as he searches for an incredible yet elusive plant. So this fox is going to go scuba diving. And you can see what all of this gear is that he's going to take with him scuba diving. And um, some of the animals he plans to see. Some of the invertebrae. And what it looks like when he gets down there. And you'll have to pick this one up to see if he finds the book that he's looking for. So you can check out um, most of these books from our library or go online and reserve them so you can get your copies as well. Um, we have started up programming again for fall and if you have questions about that, please feel free to give us a call and we'll let you in a little bit let you know a little bit more about that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in October.